Exciting basketball game tonight. Really, really proud of our team. First half, uh, we, we didn't score the ball or execute the way we wanted to. We took some bad shots. We missed some good shots, too. We got the ball where we wanted it several times. We were unable to convert. And uh, this group from, from Youngstown are really good on the offensive boards. We knew that. They rebounded Louisville. We talked about that. Had 18, had 11 0 boards at half against Louisville. I guess they only had 10 against us, so it was pretty good. But our defense was good. It kept us in the game. Uh, but one of the goals was the second half, we needed out rebound them. We did that by six and felt really good about that. And of course, the free throw line has been good to us. And once we got there, we continued to, to go and, and uh, make free throws. So really proud of our effort. I told the guys the second half, the defense was the best that we played uh, the last 10 minutes of any game this year. And it was crucial. And uh, we forced them into some shots. They still hit some, but we forced them into some tough shots. A guards rebounded the ball the second half, and that was crucial for us as well. So a uh, good crowd. Uh, Malik Wilson getting the, the tip the tip of the press and, and uh, deflecting it and then picking it up and, and Jumping up and throwing it down was pretty impressive. We got the crowd in the game. I thought we had good energy from the crowd on a Friday night. Football, tough, tough night to play. Uh, but it was important to protect our home court, and the crowd gave us a lot of energy, and we were able to do that. Malik's play, that he, when he got the dunk, do you think that was sort of the thing? Because your bench just erupted. Yeah, they, they got excited. I mean, we've seen stuff like that in practice, and, and you guys have seen enough. He's going to do something every night. He's still a freshman, he's learning, and I would called him over during one of the free throws and I said, hey, you need to make a difference and step up right now in the next possession. He did that. So after the game, I said, if I need to tell you that every time, I will, but that, that's a way to take it over. He had a great dunk attempt in the first half. He just missed it. No, we, uh, we, we've shot it well. We're shooting 76%, I think, coming in. We just hadn't been there enough. And part of our offensive game plan was to go inside out, which we tried to at times, uh, and then also to get to the free throw line and score. And, and we did that. We got in a bonus early in the second half, and then we got to the double bonus early. And uh, all those shots were clean. I don't, know, I don't even remember many of them hitting the rim. They went straight through. Uh, and two of the last three years, uh, or the last two years, I believe, we've had two of the best free throw shooting, two of the top three shoot, free throw shooting teams in school history. So uh, I like the way we approach them and go about them. And today we made 24 out of 24 in practice as a team. And then I told the guys that tonight we went 22 out of 22. So it's nothing that, that we haven't seen, but give yourselves a hand. was big and uh, we went after loose balls uh, we blocked some shots uh, it was a physical game at times and probably a difficult game to officiate but our guys fought and uh, really really gl glad the way that they got on the floor and it did combat the size from Youngstown because they're, they're bigger than we are you know for a man and they play about 10 guys uh, and they played well the first half you got to give them credit I thought they made some tough plays and uh, but missed block out opportunities. We played good defense and probably gave them eight or ten points out of those ten old boards in the first half. I hate to say that Kobe played aggressively because he always plays aggressive, but it seemed like he was almost at another level. What a, what a good game for him. And he's cramping uh, late in the last four minutes, and I asked him if he wanted to come out. He said no. He continued to make free throws. I thought the bank shot he made uh, middle of the second half that got us a lead or a one or two possession game uh, was big for us. And he really stepped up, Dan. He got poked in the eye good the other night. You can tell his eyes swollen, and he's still having vision problems. And uh, he, he deserves a day or two off, that's for sure, to rest and get his eyesight back. How much did the, um, the quickness of Wesley kind of give you a lift, especially since Frederick had two in the first half? That's a good point. I, I felt like he came in and – uh, got called for an offensive or travel, I think, on a bucket he had. But he, he did a good job breaking their pressure. He was under control. We missed a front of a one and one in the first half. He and Calvin and Malik, we missed free throws with the guards in the first half. But uh, Trajan made a positive impact on the game. Sure did. I noticed Trey did a lot of talking tonight. How did that affect y'all tonight for y'all? Trajan? Yeah. 
it just excited. You know, he's a captain along with uh, Jalen and Cedric. And we talked. We met two days ago. We met again this afternoon after practice. And those guys are really trying to lead and try to energize the, the, the group. Our bench was really good again. It didn't take Malik's dunk. I think we were active all night on the bench and, and energetic. So really proud of the way the guys are supporting each other. There is no question that when you sit with another guy and you don't play and you don't travel that you're going to, to get closer. And uh, they've done that. And they're, they're both fine young men and they work hard. And uh, that was part of our game plan coming into the season. We knew those guys were going to step in and be starters and, and, and play well. Uh, so they've, they've done that so far. And, and uh, I'm really proud of the way they, they bonded and, and helped this basketball team.